So you're looking to do some ethical hacking training and you consider doing the OSCP because it's the gold standard for ethical hacking jobs. Or perhaps you're trying to land your first cybersecurity job, but you don't necessarily want to be a full-time penetration tester. Instead, you just want to feel more confident in your ability to apply for cybersecurity jobs and do well in interviews. Therefore, you looked into doing some ethical hacking certifications and you came across something like CEH or or OSCP. We'll talk about CEH later in this video, but for those of you who don't know, OSCP is considered the gold standard for hacking certifications because the exam is fully hands-on and practical. Therefore, passing the OSCP exam proves that you have the minimum level of practical knowledge required to do the job. Nearly every full-time penetration testing role is asking for the OSCP. But the question is, if you're a beginner, should you do the OSCP or or should you do something more beginner friendly like CEH? Well, spoiler alert, but the answer to both is no. That's because the OSCP has so many problems with the biggest one being the price. As of the time of recording this video, it costs about 1,649 US dollars for one exam attempt and 90 days access to their lab. But the real problem is most people, especially beginners, end up needing a lot more than 90 days to just finish the training and do the labs. Not only that, but most people usually need more than one exam attempt. Therefore, it ends ends up costing you thousands of dollars and hours upon hours of frustration and some people even lose their confidence as they study for the OSCP which is not what you want if you're embarking on a journey to land your first cyber security job. Now the CEH is even worse. It's a multiple choice exam that doesn't give you any practical skills that you can showcase in the interview and therefore it will not give you the confidence to answer anything in the interview. So what should you do? Well what if I told you that things have changed. There are newer and far better options out there that are suitable for someone who's starting from zero and wants to gain hands-on practical ethical hacking knowledge that are not only cheaper than the OSCP but the quality of the training is a lot higher. You'll gain the confidence to do well in the interview and truly excel on the job. I'm gonna take you through five training courses and certifications that are not only cheaper and better than the OSCP but doing them will make passing the OSCP a lot easier. Starting with the first and possibly the most underrated one in the list, which is number one, try hack me. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know I love TryHackMe. They are one of my absolute favorite platforms to learn because of two reasons. First, they are extremely beginner friendly. They have courses that will give you the background necessary for someone who's never done any technical work before. But second and more importantly is they are extremely affordable. They have a ton of free stuff and their subscription costs something like $10 per month. And on top of that, they have a generous discount for students, which is absolutely crazy. But the biggest mistake that I see beginners make with TryHackMe is that they go and only do the free stuff that TryHackMe offer and they spend so much time on these challenges and capture the flags. Now listen, I've been in this industry for a very long time and I've helped hundreds of individuals just like you land their first cybersecurity job by following advice that I post on my videos. In fact, I post success stories every week from individuals from all around the world who managed to land a cybersecurity job following my advice. So trust me when I tell you this doing capture the flags and free courses alone is not enough to land you a cybersecurity job for the most cases. You need to focus on proper training and certification programs. With TryHackMe, the real value is in the courses that I'm about to show you. If you're brand new and you've never done any technical work before, then you need to start with two courses that they have, which are the pre-security. This will give you an introduction to the world of offensive security. It will go over the basics of networking, of Windows, of Linux, which is a necessary background for someone who wants to learn penetration testing. The next course that you need to do if you're starting from zero is called Introduction to Cybersecurity. This will give you more knowledge in the world of cybersecurity and penetration testing. It will go over web application security 
security, operating system security, and network security. It will even introduce you to digital forensics and security operations. Whilst these are not exclusive to penetration testing, however, this knowledge is important for anyone who's embarking on a journey to learn cybersecurity and ethical hacking. But the real value is in their harder and more challenging training certification programs. So the first penetration testing course from TryHackMe is the Junior Penetration Testing Learning Path. The difficulty for this course is rated intermediate, so it is more challenging than the pre-security and the introduction to cybersecurity. This one will introduce you to the world of offensive security and penetration testing, and on section three, it will take you through web application penetration testing, which is a really important topic for ethical hackers. And then section four goes over Burp Suite, with section five focusing on network security, section six goes through vulnerability research, and section seven goes over Metasploit, and ending with section eight, which is a slightly more advanced topic, that is privilege escalation. Offensive security learning path. Yes, this will have room and exploitations and capture the flag style, but it's structured in a way to teach you a subject. So they have an advanced exploitation section with so many challenges that will build out your skills in a step-by-step -step manner. But then we have section three, which is dedicated to an advanced topic we call buffer overflow exploitation. And then on section four, it goes over Active Directory, which is absolutely crucial for penetration testing. And in section five, it goes over more challenges. Now, this learning path is a fairly advanced learning path. It is not easy. And in terms of difficulty, it's rated as intermediate. But the next one is a really challenging one. This one is called the red teaming learning path. Red teaming is a more advanced form of penetration testing where you emulate a real group of hackers. So you need to know a lot about reconnaissance and gaining access without any assistance, but you also need to be really well versed in Active Directory exploits amongst other advanced techniques as well. As you can see, the course consists of six sections, starting with the fundamentals of red teaming and ending with a fairly advanced topic, which is compromising Active Directory. This is the bread and butter of red teams. Now, this course is rated hard, which means it's meant to be advanced and challenging. Now, for those who don't want to be ethical hackers, perhaps you want to work in a security operation center or you want to work in GRC, then you don't need to do all of these courses. The junior penetration testing course is enough for your purposes. But if you want to challenge yourself more and do the OSCP, then the next course that I'm about to recommend will not only make passing the OSCP a lot easier, but in fact, the training course itself is so much better than the OSCP <laughs> and it's cheaper, which is the second course on the list. Number two, Hack the Box CPTS. Now I have recommended Hack the Box before in my videos, but I also noticed that beginners tend to make Make the same mistake with Hack the Box that they do with Try Hack Me. They only focus on the free stuff and the challenges and the capture the flags whilst they neglect the one thing that will actually get them hired, which is the important training and certification programs. This is where the real value is at. Now the CPTS is like every other course that I've ever recommended in my life. It's practical and hands-on. Now the course itself includes all the knowledge that you need to learn and pass the exam. However, I did find that the course can be challenging for absolute beginners, especially if you're someone who don't have a lot of technical knowledge, I recommend you start with Try Hack Me first. It will make your life a lot easier than if you started right away with Hack the Box. And just like Try Hack Me, Hack the Box have a generous discount for students. I'll leave a link to the course in the description box under the video. And trust me when I tell you this, the CPTS exam is a lot harder than the OSCP. The CPTS exam is 10 days long, whilst the OSCP is 24 hours. But not only that, the nature of the exam itself and the way it's structured makes it a lot more challenging than the OSCP. Therefore, if you pass the CPTS, then you definitely know your way around penetration testing and you'll be able to demonstrate that in an interview setting and on the job. Not only that, but passing the OSCP so much easier. In fact, just doing the CPTS alone might land you a penetration testing job because Hack the Box CPTS is really well respected in the hacking community. Now, the next training that I'm about to recommend for you is one that I don't see so many people talk about online. 
which is really disappointing because they remain one of my absolute favorite training providers. But before we get to that, a word from our sponsor, NotePass Business. NotePass Business is an intuitive password manager ideal for businesses and individuals because it's proven to improve productivity. Not only that, but NotePass ensures the highest privacy and security standards for customers through end-to-end -end encryption and zero-knowledge architecture. In fact, a great use for NotePass business is using it to adhere to cybersecurity compliance standards because NotePass serves as a secure access solution that can help your organization meet security standards such as ISO 27001, SOC 2, and even HIPAA. Now, did you know that IT help this? Staffing alone can cost around $1 million per year for some large organizations. And guess what consumes a lot of their resources? It's resetting passwords. But NotePass is proven to improve efficiency in that regard. Now, another big problem that organizations struggle with is convenience, especially when you have a large number of passwords to manage. But with NotePass business, you can not only have your passwords managed, but you can also use the auto login feature to make login seamless and convenient. NotePass business can also create strong passwords by default with easy to configure password policy. Now, research shown that on average, it takes an organization 121 days to find out that they have a data breach, which is absolutely crazy. But with NotePass data breach notification option, you can change any compromised password before any damage is done. But best of all, you can try NotePass for three months for free and they've given us an exclusive deal of a 20% discount. Check it out at nordpass.com slash unix guy and use the activation code unix guy. It's a limited time offer so please check it out and back to the video. The next training provider which is number three INE formerly known as eLearn Security. In my experience, all the courses are top-notch. If you just want an introduction to penetration testing, then I highly recommend the beginner training course, which is EJPT. It will give you the hands-on knowledge that you need to be a well-rounded cybersecurity professional. This is ideal for those who don't want to be penetration testers, but they still want to gain that knowledge. I remember doing this course when it was first introduced years ago, and it was absolutely fantastic. Testing. Whereas if you want to do a deep dive into penetration testing, then ECPPT is the course that you're looking for. It's an absolutely brilliant training and it covers similar topics to OSCP, except the training itself, in my opinion, is so much better than OSCP. I'll leave a link to both these courses in the description box under the video. Now between you and me, I think the OSCP exam is really good because it can prove that you have the practical skills that we need in penetration testing jobs. But what I really don't like is the OSCP training that's provided by Offensive Security. I think it can definitely be improved and I don't necessarily agree with their mantra of try harder. The training itself, in my opinion, is a little bit lacking and saying things like try harder is just not good enough in my opinion. I think that training itself can definitely improve. Whereas in training courses like ECPPT or Hack the Box or any of the other courses that I mentioned, the training itself is fairly comprehensive and it will give you everything that you need to pass the exam. The whole point of a training course is that it gives you a structure and it saves you time. The point of a training course is not to spend all your time spinning your wheels and going to Google every single thing. I'm curious to see what everyone thinks about that. Now, INE as a platform, they have cybersecurity training courses that cover literally every aspect of cybersecurity. They have web app penetration testing courses, mobile phone penetration testing courses, even digital forensics and threat hunting. They literally cover everything in cybersecurity. So if you want to be an expert in your field, then you have no excuse. You can simply go through the training course and gain the practical skills that you need for the job. Now, the next training provider have a very similar approach to INE. They have practical courses that cover a wide range of cybersecurity topics, but their prices are extremely competitive, which is number four on the list, TCM Security. I'm a big fan of their flagship course, PNTP, I think it's a phenomenal penetration testing course. It covers topics similar to ECPPT and OSCP. It gives you practical knowledge 
and it gives you the skills that we need on the job. So now you have so many options to learn the important topics and to gain the skills of a hacker. You honestly can't go wrong with any of the courses that are recommended so far. You've got options. This is a good thing. And trust me, I only wish I had access to these courses that you have when I first started my career. We literally had nothing. Now for those freaks out there who want to take things a step further and you still want to challenge yourself even more, then the next step for you will be red teaming skills, which as we touched on brief when we talked about try hack me, red teaming is essentially emulating what real hackers do. So usually you're expected to have a lot more skills and it's a lot more advanced than your regular penetration test. So if this is what you're after, then the next training provider is one that most of you haven't even heard of. In fact, I've personally discovered them recently, which is number five on the list, zero point security. They have two fantastic red teaming courses, but they are absolutely not for the faint of heart. These are fairly advanced courses, so you need to come prepared. This is something that you do after passing your OSCP or after you do your PNTP or ECPPT or hack the box. This is not something that you start with. The courses are Red Team Ops 1 and Red Team Ops 2. The exam for Red Team Ops 1 is four days long and the exam for Red Team Ops 2 is eight days long. As I said, those are extremely challenging courses, but the quality is absolutely top notch. I'll leave a link to both these courses in the description box under the video. Now, the important question that you need to ask yourself is, what if I don't wanna be a penetration tester? Should I still do some of these advanced courses like PNTP or CPTS or ECPPT? What if I'm not sure that I wanna be a penetration tester at all? Well, that's an excellent question and it's something that you need a lot of clarity on because i'll be honest with you here whilst penetration testing and ethical hacking jobs they pay a lot of money but they also have their own set of challenges they are definitely not for everyone so should you still do penetration testing training the honest answer is yes but they shouldn't be what you start your learning journey with instead i will aim to take more of a generalist approach to cyber security so i would aim to learn first something like defensive technologies generalist cyber security knowledge and even grc penetration testing is something that i would personally do later once you land that first cybersecurity job, then you can spend the rest of your life doing penetration testing training if so you desire. Now, if you want a step-by-step -step guide on how to start your journey of becoming a generalist cybersecurity professional starting from zero, then I created this video with detailed instructions on exactly how to do it in the fastest and cheapest way possible. So check it out and I'll see you there.